Hello everyone, hi, welcome to Park Bench Whispers. My name's Debbie, I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you so much for being here for your message today, which is, what's next in love? We will be looking at both energies, seeing how you feel about this and getting some advice. We also will be doing the two questions to the universe with the tarot deck today, if you wanted to join in those. But for today's reading, we have three piles and pile one is on the left and you have butterfly and that is with rose quartz crystal. Pile two is in the middle, you have rose and that's with the crystal heart. Pile three, is on the right and you have amethyst and that is with citrine crystals all the timestamps for everything including the questions to the universe are all in the description box below so let's see what we can find out for you today from the universe what's next in love and i'll see you all in your questions and your piles hello everyone welcome to your questions to the universe Hold that question or thought in your mind, the direction that you are hoping for, and we will ask the universe. Let's clear that energy. Thank you, universe. Please help everybody with question one on their mind. Please give the clarity and direction for question one. Oh, do you know what? That one definitely wanted to come out, didn't it? Let's see what we have. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. This is a yes from the universe. It's a, very much a happiness card. Happy family or a happy couple, an achievement for sure. It's almost a celebration, isn't it? So this is a big yes for sure. Emotional fulfillment in question one. Let's go straight to question two. We're just going to give the deck a shuffle and we will ask the universe let's clear that energy hold that question in your mind thank you universe please help everybody with question two on their mind please please give the clarity and direction for question two on their mind so we have the empress big yes from the universe the empress is actually you know expansion it's growth nurturing energy it could be families pregnancy you know it's motherhood and it says harmony healing and love and union so that is a big yes for everybody in question two wow very very good answers today lovely i hope that's helped everybody and i'll see you all in your piles Hello Pile 1, welcome to your reading on what's next in love. If you have felt drawn towards the Butterfly Oracle card along with the Rose Quartz Crystal, this is your message today. And what I love particularly about this particular image, you can see the dark background but the butterfly is all white. It's really shining through. So because the key word is happiness, I really feel you are about to come into a new chapter. Because butterflies, as we know, they do represent a transformation. It's a rebirth. It's your beauty shining through and very much a sign of raising of emotions, your happiness, even your optimism and being raised to allow you to shine through to bring in your new chapter really really positive energy so we're going to start pile one with your energy we are going to get your current energy and then we're going to get two oracles for what's next in love thank you universe please give the current energy for pile one energy for pile one please So we have the Queen of Cups, wow, and the Knight of Swords. That's pretty amazing energy. Do you know what? This is absolutely, when you think about this, this is like the butterfly energy. You're holding on to your dreams, your goals, your feelings, and there we are. That's the transformation. This is you taking off, being seen, being valued. I love this. I mean, you could definitely have water in your chart or air, but it seems to me there's fast action about to come into your life or even fast communication, even very much you taking the action in regards to your emotional fulfillment. So I would say what's next in love could be quite quick here. Even if it's a brand new person, you know, someone you're friends with even, but it seems to me movement is quite quick. Let's get their oracles. Thank you, universe. Please give the energy for pile one's person on what's next in love. 
So we have that owl and hop. This is actually wisdom. You know, it's enlightenment. This is someone who's learnt through life experiences and gained wisdom, coming out the other side bigger, better and stronger. Really wise energy. I mean, owls, we know, they do represent change. They op absolutely represent wisdom, intuition. So maybe this is someone, um, I would say, who has learnt through life experience for sure, but they could also be very, very intuitive, following their own inner guidance. And what else do we have? Telepathic. Well, that ties in amazingly, doesn't it? Close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. Now, of course, not everybody can relate to that, but maybe some of you do. But it does seem to me the telepathic, the energy between the both of you is going to be quite strong, if not already. It's almost like the universe is synchronizing, you know, the energies between the both of you because of their intuition and that wisdom. So let's find out. Very, very amazing energy. Thank you, Universe. Please give the energy for Pile One's person on what's next in love. Pile One's person. Wow. So we have the moon. Again, it's very, very spiritual. Oh, my goodness. Two of Cups, Pile One. Let me just move those down so you can see all of those. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I said fast, and there we are. That is fast. So it, it, we do have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now the Ten of Swords actually represents the end of a chapter, the end of a mindset, the end of a cycle. It is something that they are very, very glad to see the back of because what it represents is you know, we move on. The universe is using them now to literally move on. They remove them swords, encouraging them to use that wisdom within the owl to move forward to the next chapter. Now, obviously, I'm not sure what that situation was because it could have even been the mindset because it's all about the air. But I suspect for some reason, for some of you, it could have been they've been let down, very, very disappointed over a certain situation doesn't even have to be love related it could be anything going on then in their life but the main thing is they're glad to see the back of it it is the end they now start a brand new cycle but what i love next pile one is we actually have the moon so they could have pisces in their chart but interestingly the moon is about healing it's wishes it's dreaming manifestations but it's all about divine timing isn't it waiting for something to be revealed but what i feel for a lot of you maybe this is someone you're attracted to maybe this is someone in your life but they might not have revealed how they feel to the depth that you would ideally like. Now, of course, that won't resonate for everybody. It could well be a brand new person coming into your life. You'll start to talk to them. You'll get to know them. You'll feel that energy between the both of you and then it all starts to be revealed. But the real strong energy here, Pile One, is that Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is a soulmate connection. It's a really divine energy. You know, it's something that is meant to be. Now, I'm not surprised really because of the telepathic, you know, the wisdom. It is a soul connection. But above all else, it's really blessed. And it's it's equal, you see, with the Two Cups. That's what I love about it. Now, I, what I really do love is that because you're in that Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords, it's almost like you are holding tightly onto your wishes your dreams what you want to create in a relationship because you know what you've got to give and it's almost like bam there it is it comes in and you're both taking action towards each other quite quickly because the page and the eight of wands is fast action you know this is even communication this is movement happening here and the page obviously represents the baseline. It could be a conversation. Maybe this is where you meet them now. But if it's someone in your life, I do feel they're going to start opening up, particularly with the earth energy. It could be friendship, work. You know, this could be social community, someone you're getting to know, whether in evening class or someone with a class that you go to at the local college or evening school however that may resonate it's someone who's wanting to talk to you 
let's see what we've got underneath that 10. So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Well, the Eight of Pentacles represents hard work, you know, someone really prepared. Maybe this is someone career, you know, focused. They might be wanting to create stability, even financial stability. But what I love about the Eight of Pentacles, you can see that Eighth Pentacle there. That's the next one they want to create because each, re each one represents something that is very, very dear to them. It's something that they really feel is important to them and they want it to grow and expand. Now, what I feel here, because it's the Earth energy, it could very well be someone within your team, someone within your club, your social community. Maybe it's someone that that you work quite closely with or are friends quite closely but either way I love the fact that the eight of pentacles are here because it's really stable basically what this is really saying is they're prepared they are prepared for a relationship they're prepared to meet you they're prepared to fall in love this is someone prepared for stability because they're going with the flow they're not going against it now that is precisely why they're very very glad to come to the end of that ten of swords the three of cups though pile one this is celebration this is happiness you know i mean for sure this could be friendship again because it represents friends a celebration a raising of emotions now because there's three people doesn't necessarily mean it's three people it represents a group of people that is why i'm getting the feeling for some of you it's colleague related or is someone within your social circle but of course it could absolutely represent a brand new person coming towards you that you meet you just meet in a celebration maybe at a party a celebration and this is where it really starts to kind of create that foundation you both just suddenly click here and then there's fast action so let's clarify their energy and we will look for further intentions further feelings let's see what else we can find out thank you universe please clarify Paul one's person please we have the Page of Wands, so that's two pages now. We have the Seven of Swords, we have the Sun, and the Queen of Swords. Now, what do we have at the bottom? We have the Three of Wands, that's really positive actually, particularly as we saw that Ten of Swords. They're moving forward because the Three of Wands represents the visualization. You know, this is the dreams, the goals, waiting for the ships to come in. Now, you can see in front of them, we do have the mountains. This, they all represent dreams, goals. They know they can overcome the mountain. And the yellow very much represents the confidence and the self-esteem. But above all else, it's positivity. So they are moving forward and definite sign of fire in their chart. So the page of wands is really quite interesting, Pio One, because uh, you see, this is about the passion, this is the romance, this is, you know, the desire, it's the ego, it's the life force within them. This is why not only with that eight of pentacles that we had and that page, this is someone now the feelings are growing. So I do feel this is going to be quite quick because as it's under the moon, you know, it's about to be revealed to you. It's all about divine timing. So, uh, you know, I would say this is quite someone, maybe you're friends with some of these people, you know, maybe you're friends with them, maybe you're colleagues with them. And that is why they're going to start opening up here. But I do feel for a lot of you, this could be a brand new person because we've got two energies of pages and it's almost like you're suddenly just going to meet someone and then feelings start growing quite quickly and it seems to me that you're going to be really happy about that you're going to open up and really talk to this person with this knight of swords you are going to be happy about the action coming into your life because even underneath that two of cups you can see we've got the seven of swords now of course this could be someone who was let down maybe they were disappointed maybe they even felt deceived in the past but it could also represent them moving forward with you know a little bit of caution in regards to opening up the heart a little bit of a more strategic energy and that wouldn't surprise me really with that ten of swords but nonetheless it is someone however they're coming towards you however they're manifesting this with you it is the soulmate connection it is blessed 
I feel they're using their intuition. They're feeling that energetic between you. You know what it's like when you meet someone. It's almost, you know, when you just click with someone. I feel this is what's happening here. That is why they might be moving forward with slight caution, but it's the click that's going to happen or is already happening for you. That is why you're both going to literally come in and it's just going to be like boom because it's going to be so fast and it's all about that initial click. It's almost, I just can't shake it off. It's that feeling where you're just going to connect with someone. It's just going to be synchronized. You're both going to really feel, do you know what? I feel at ease around you. I can talk to you. You know, I really feel comfortable around you. And it's that is when you're really going to start getting to know each other. So it might be maybe they've even got their guard up a little bit initially. But you see what happens after the page of pentacles, we actually have the sun really positive it's the happiest card in the whole deck i mean the sunflowers they represent that it's about joy it's peace it's friendship this is why for some of you this is friendship growing to romance this is colleague growing to romance and underneath the eight of wands we've got the queen of swords really powerful determination a lot of clarity and the thing is about the Queen of Swords, Pile 1, I mean, it is someone who's clear in their mind. The clouds do represent confusion, you know, a little bit of, you know, unsureness, if you know what I mean. But you see, they are in the clear blue sky. They know what they feel. They know what they want to say. But because she has her hand out, she's welcoming conversations. She's welcoming you towards them, regardless of age or gender. She very much is welcoming this relationship, this conversation. This, is, I would say, almost like this click if you like you know because it falls underneath that uh, the eight of wands which is fast action fast communication very often actually after a delay let's see what we've got underneath that three of wands wow you are both in the queen of cups i love this and look what we've even got in between. It's the Ace of Cups. It's a brand new beginning. Regardless if this is a, a person in your life or not, it is a brand new level to your connection. It's the hand of God coming in, you see. This is why they have that telepathic. It is the, you know, the soul connection really a lot of emotions here and it seems to me this is why because you know both at the same level when I said to you at the beginning you know you're not going to lessen your energy they'll need to match you and they are look at that they are matching you you're both holding on to your heart you're both holding this cup of love regardless of what's happened before with the with the ripples here you both know your value you know your worth you know what you can give and you know what to receive so i really feel this is a beautiful fast connection let's see how you feel about this pale worm let's get some advice Thank you, universe. Please give your advice for pile one, please. How will they feel about this going forward? And what is your advice? We have the page of cups. We have the, look at that. You're both in the eight of pentacles. And we also have the six of swords. So you're moving on and you're happily moving on. Because this page of cups is the baseline, as I say, it is news, it's good news. You know, this is you opening up, talking, expressing how you feel. Maybe for some of you are already talking to this person and you're loving that connection, whether that's online, friendship or colleague. Either way, this is you feeling really happy about what's happening in your life. Now, I'm not surprised because the butterfly energy is you really embracing your happiness here with that queen of cups. But also, you are within that eight of pentacles, exactly the same as your person. So you're ready. You know, you want this. You really are prepared for this new chapter in your life. But what I really, really love about your energy pile one is the universe is advising you to embrace this. But keep going. Keep going forward with that six of swords because this is you leaving the past behind. It is you moving on to your new beginning, your new happiness with the butterfly, leaving that past behind, which is the ripples, you see, 
It's almost like the unsettling. So it's all about your mindset. It is the clarity. It is you feeling happier and almost wishing that past behind. You know what? I'm leaving the past behind. I'm now sailing on to my new chapter. Really positive energy. So you could definitely have water, earth or air in your chart and the universe is letting you know just to keep going because what you're dreaming and manifesting is coming into your life because of the butterfly it is transformation you are transforming in your life and but not only that this is a rebirth this is you having your new chapter a new beginning i just want to close your reading pile one with a message for you thank you universe what is your message for pile one thank you your message for pile one regards to this connection soulmate there we are and i said didn't i soul connections and when i was talking about that i recognized that wouldn't be really resonate with everybody not everybody could recognize or even you know really consider the telepathic side but one thing we can all really compare to is the soulmate connection we can all very much recognize this so for some of you not only this is a going to be magnetic telepathic you're going to know how each other are feeling it is a soulmate connection which is destined and it says yes this is your soulmate now how powerful is that that is why i know you are happily moving on you're happily walking towards your new chapter your new transformation Love this for you, Pile One. I really hope that's helped you and I hope that's resonated. Please do give me a thumbs up as well if that did. And please do subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this as well. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Hello, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading on what's next in love. If you have felt drawn towards the red rose energy along with the crystal heart, Funnily enough, it's actually half pink and half clear, and it has three butterflies on the right hand side there. So it's transformation coming out of the, you know, a darker time into the light. That's how I always feel about this crystal. But the thing is about the rose pile too, rose is beauty. Rose is, particularly the red rose, it represents beauty and a new beginning. But above all else, it's about faith. And it says here, confidence. So it is a new chapter of confidence. It's almost like a new door of opportunity, I would say. But of course, the flowers represent a blooming expansion energy, really shining, your beauty shining. But it's not just on the outside. This is on the inside, which, in my opinion, is just as important because it really is how we feel on the inside shows on the outside. We we can almost, you know, feel one way, but it doesn't really show on the outside. But this is your inward confidence, your optimism, your new chapter is shining through. So that is what I love about that energy of the red rose. What you feel inside, you're going to feel so much happier. Let's get your current energy pile too. And then we'll get two oracle cards on what's next in love on the person and then the tarot for both of you. Thank you, universe. Please give the current energy for pile two, please. We have the six of swords and the eight of cups. Wow, two energies of moving on, embracing the new chapter. That's incredible. I mean, the Eight of Cups, as we know, is a soul-searching energy. It is you walking towards your new chapter. And the reason being is, is because it's a decision that you have made. Leaving behind what wasn't emotionally happy, emotionally fulfilling. And the thing is, with that Six of Swords, it is a brand new chapter moving to calmer waters a clearer mindset now that is why you're in that rose energy it's a new beginning and as i felt coming out of a bit of a sad time a dark time even a confusing time right there into the light which is your transformation with the butterflies and that is why your confidence and happiness is really shining through i feel you're going to be so much happier Let's get the couple of oracle cards, pile two, for your person. 
Thank you, universe. Please give the energy for pile two's person on what's next in love. So we have remarkable. Notice everything remarkable about your relationships. Now, I just want to point out one major image which has struck me. There is a red rose here and you are the red rose there. Now, what is the chances of that? We have two rings as well, which symbolizes a commitment, you know, a union, honesty, a very, very high level of attraction. And it seems to me this person, if not in your life, someone coming towards you is noticing or will notice things about you. And it is different. It is different in terms of what they expected. It's leveling almost remarkable. It's almost like they're saying to themselves, you know what, this is not what I thought it would be. This is amazing. It's so much better. And they notice things remarkable. Let's get their other oracle card. You are almost feeling to me, this is someone that they have never met before. This is someone like they've never been in a relationship before. It's a whole brand new level for your person. We have preparation, which is the squirrel and chestnut. So it is someone prepared. They're ready. It's almost like being in the eight of pentacles. Someone's ready. You are ready because you're moving on and they are ready. They're prepared for this relationship mentally, spiritually, physically ready. Thank you, universe. Please give the energy for pile two's person on what's next in love. So we have the star. Love that. We have the ace of swords. We have the nine of wands. And we have the Knight of Wands. Let me just move all the energy together so you can see it all. And at the bottom of the deck, wow, pile two, we have the Sun. Now this is the most happiest, most positive energy. It is really, really growth, expansion, sunlight shining. This is why I felt, you see, it's within butterflies. It's the transformation. Now, the sunflowers do actually represent that. It is joy. It's friendship. It's a lot of peace coming in. But you see, what do sunflowers do? They follow the energy of the sun. They follow that energy precisely throughout the day. And then they really do it repeatedly every day. Now, that is why this is something that's going to grow, build over time. And it's really going to bring a lot of happiness. And I really felt from that you were going to really bring a lot of happiness into your life. Now, we're starting off pile two with the star energy. So they could have Aquarius in their chart. Now, the star is actually a wishing energy. You know, it's dreaming, wishes, you know, emotional fulfillment. But also it's about emotional balance, pouring from one cup to the other, working our way to the North Star, which is our happiness, our dreams and our goals. But what I would say is overall, what I'm feeling from your person, there's a lot of freedom coming in by meeting you or getting into a relationship relationship with you, whether this is someone already in your life or someone brand new coming in. What I'm really feeling, this is a brand new freedom for your person. And I say that because of that nine of wands, because that nine of wands, I would say this person's felt a little bit stuck to some extent. They are determined for sure, but it's almost like nothing was moving for them. That is why they've been in that star energy. But of course, the star is also about healing. So maybe that was why, you know, they needed to have some time on their own. But nonetheless, it is someone very, very ready to have a brand new beginning because it is wish fulfillment with the star. Now, that Ace of Swords, as you can see, is the card of truth. It is communication. It's the plan. It's the wisdom. It's the clarity. And of course, there is an, a beautiful crown there. Well, the crown does represent an expression. It is the authority. So I know this person not only is mentally ready, they very much are physically ready and spiritually ready, just as I felt. So there's a lot of truth coming in. There is a new chapter because aces are all about a brand new beginning, whether that is friendship going to romance, whether this is a brand new person. This is a beautiful new beginning, not only for you, but for your for your person. 
Now, what I'm really feeling for some of you, it could well be, particularly with that star energy, it could be someone you're already in, you know, who is in your life to some extent, because that could well be that why that nine of wands is there for some of you. It could be someone who has been almost very, very determined, but nonetheless, it's like the wounded warrior, not sure how this could even move forward because of that remarkable energy. They are noticing incredible things about you. And as I say, you are like someone someone they've never been in a relationship before that's why it's caused that little bit of frustration for them but the beautiful part is for all of you whether this is a brand new person or someone already in your life there's action the knight of wands is about the desire it's the romantic feelings so however this resonates there is action they are moving forward now that is why they're in that preparation they are prepared they know this is what they want so there is absolutely a lot of attraction and romantic feelings here no, I don't feel this is any issue to you. I feel you're really welcoming to this because you are in the confidence of the rose, but you have two energies of a brand new chapter because you have decided to do this you are ready you feel this is time so I feel you're really really going to match this person's energy wow look at this pile too we have the fool and the ace of cups well this is a leap of faith this is that new beginning now I just want to point out that white rose to you pile two because in the full energy that white rose does represent freedom now I said to you this was freedom this was a new beginning and I really felt that right from the beginning now this is growth as well so look at the positivity movement I really feel you're going to love getting to know this person, you know, whether it's new or whether this is someone coming in. I feel you're really, really ready. But the thing is, this person will want to create a positive foundation going forward. Now, for them, to some extent, this is someone, as I say, it is someone who is ready. But not only that, this is a leap of freedom. This is a brand new chapter. But look at that. It's the Ace of Cups. We've got two beginnings the clarity the mindset the determination we've got all the emotions coming in now as well i knew they were ready and i really feel you are ready as well let's clarify their energy pile two and let's look for more indications and more action we've got justice which flipped out there we are thank you universe please clarify pile two's person please show further intentions and action so we have the three of pentacles the ten of cups and the eight of wands we have the i don't believe this wow let me show you my other deck because i always keep them side by side we have the sun and the sun now how what double whammy that is double confirmation i love that I really feel this is something you've been really wanting and they've been wanting such happiness coming in you know a real big transformation because you can see under the star pile too we have justice so they could have Libra in their chart this is almost like fairness coming back in isn't it you know it's like equality fairness you know this is real balance coming back in but what I'm feeling for some of you now if you feel this person is already in your life with that nine of wands there's been some hold up here that could be the balance coming back in it's the fairness it's the equality and the reason being is because they're very much wanting to bring that towards you for wish fulfillment but what I'm feeling is underneath that ace of swords you can see actually we've got the three of pentacles well it is all about collaboration it's teamwork moving forward It's a positive energy of moving forward but the main emphasis is on that three of pentacles is this is something an energy that both people want you're both wanting the same desire you know because it is about teamwork you're shooting for the same result now that is why I know you are both ready you're both wanting to really get to know each other you're wanting this romance so there could definitely be a work colleague couldn't they there could be a friend of yours someone in the in even in the community but for others of you it could be someone you've known for a very long time and that could be why justice is being brought in and it could even be an apology fairness and balance 
But you see, even if that is the case for your pile two with that nine of wands, there's action coming towards you to balance it all out. And underneath that nine of wands, you can see we've actually got the ten of cups. Well, this is real happiness. The, you know, this is the rainbow coming out after a difficult time. It's after the rainstorm. This is the bliss, the happy family, the happy couple. But above all else, this is emotionally balanced. It's equal again. So there really is sunshine coming out after a difficult time, not only for you, but I feel for them as well. So this is really, really about divine timing. Talk about wish fulfillment. I mean, this really is a beautiful connection for the both of you. And underneath that knight of wands, you can see we actually have the eight of wands, which is the fire ashen. This is all about the, you know, the desire, the romantic feelings. This is the real fast communication or fast movement. Now for that to fall under the Knight of Wands just shows to me this has been for some of you someone that you've been attracted to for quite some time or they have been attracted to you for quite some time and it is now about to start moving action is coming in but for others of you simply being this could be someone coming in your life you're going to get to know each other there's going to be an initial spark so to speak and then it really moves quite quickly either way I do feel You've both been on your own for a little while. For some of you, it's almost like you're prepared now. You're ready. You know, you're both moving on. You've done your healing. You're both going to match each other because you're both ready. Because there's, you know, it's so important that you both come in at the same energy because that really does create the solid foundation. I mean, I would say your person's done all their healing. They really are manifesting a beautiful, beautiful foundation let's see what we've got underneath the sun so we have the nine of pentacles and the star again i mean this the sun as we know is the happiest energy but not only that the nine of pentacles is independence someone's creating maybe dreams goals here with all those greats but it's also about a foundation so i would say this person really is hoping and trying and wanting to create a solid foundation with you but to think we've got the star again this is wish fulfillment this is divinely timed and it's all about you both going to that north star isn't it it is about the energy i would say of really being together when you're meant to be together because as i say if it is someone you've been attracted to for a long time or for some of you you know what there's been a delay here with that eight of wands it maybe it wasn't the right time for them because it's so important that when we do get together with someone they've healed they've recognized you know that they are ready well they are now ready so i love that so they're quite independent and the one thing i will say is that they're definitely single they are single and they are prepared and it's not only that pile to this is someone who's noticing a lot of remarkable things about you something different about you than the rest this is like really unique that is why i do feel there is fast action coming in in the eight of wands but we need to know how you feel about this a lot more so let's ask the universe thank you universe what is your advice for pile two please and how will they feel about this going forward we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Amazing. Yeah, I feel you're ready. You're really wanting this. It's lovely because your confidence is growing on the inside and the outside because you're in that Queen of Swords, which is your confidence, you see. This is a really high vibration of air energy. I mean, you could definitely have air in your chart. But you see, the thing is, what I love about the Queen of Swords, because it's you welcoming someone towards you, but the beautiful part is they have to match you because this is you holding your hand out but it's all about the truth. You're welcoming truth towards you because your sword's up, which is about you speaking your truth. It's about your wisdom and your clarity, but it is about them coming towards you at that precise energy because there's no confusion with you pile two. The clouds do represent that and the clear blue sky does represent the clarity, your decision, it's your movement forward. It's your dreams and your goals and your confidence growing 
coming into the light here. But what's really interesting in is you then have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Well, there's fast action here. There's fast movement coming towards you, as I felt, particularly with that Eight of Wands. So your your action is the Knight of Swords, which is the communication. It's the mindset. Theirs, their first one, is that Knight of uh, wands which is the passion the attraction so what a match that is going to be I mean this is communication attraction you know romantic feelings it's really going to be a really flirty kind of romantic connection which is really going to take off because what the beautiful part is the universe is advising you is to embrace that because you have the Ace of Cups entering your life, which is a brand new beginning. Well, we know that with the Rose energy, and we definitely know this is something that you have walked away from because you're ready to embrace your new chapter. So that is your new beginning, Pile 2. The, as I say, God's handing you this level of beginning. It is emotional fulfillment. It's all about your heart's desires. So, wow, talk about a match for each other. Let's just get one oracle here from the angels for you, Pile 2. What is your message for Pile 2, please, universe, regarding this connection? So we have, wow, look at that. This could be the one. And it says, you've already met the romantic you seek romantic partner you seek wow so as I say some of you I do feel this is someone that you're attracted to and they well may very well be attracted to you for others of you is this someone that you've just met is it someone you're talking to or of course someone from a, a long time ago it could be a colleague as well but this could be the one and you've already met them I love that I really hope that's resonated for you, part two, and I hope that's helped you. Please do like, share, subscribe as well, and I love reading your comments, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Hello Pile 3, welcome to your reading on what's next in love. If you have felt drawn towards the amethyst energy along with the citrine crystal here, this is your message today and it actually says on here acceptance and courage but what I really feel particularly with the amethyst, will this is healing isn't it, this is a really healing nurturing energy bringing stability, bringing clarity and very much a high end of protection but what I really feel from you it's almost like you've accepted certain things but you're finding the courage to start a new chapter that is precisely the energy of the amethyst you see it's almost like new expansion even a regeneration I would say raising your confidence to bring in new love a brand new chapter a brand new romantic relationship into your life because you've accepted what was you've moved on you've accepted and found the courage to embrace a new chapter which does take courage it does take courage you know you've worked through you know healing that type of thing you've worked through that reflection that sometimes we need that is why you're in that amethyst energy beautiful healing nurturing energy of a new chapter i want to start with your current energy pile three thank you universe please give the energy for pile three please their current energy so we have the moon what's come out and we also have the King of Cups, very, very nurturing energy. That's what I felt. This is actually emotional, you know, really emotional stability. This is really caring, really nurturing. And of course, this because someone very much, you know, you I would say you're in that moon energy of I would say healing still a little bit, you know, but it's dreaming, wishing, manifesting, maybe even revealing parts of you gradually over the time, opening up your heart at the pace that you feel happy with, because the moon is all about phases. But the beautiful part is, Pile 3, the King of Cups is the highest level of love, care, compassion. So you have so much to give and you have so much to receive. That's the beautiful part about being in such a high vibration. But maybe for some of you with that moon energy coming up, maybe you're wanting to reveal how you feel about someone as well. That could be for some of you. 
let's get your person's energy so that definitely wants to come out let's get the other one thank you universe the energy for pile three's person on what's next in love so their energy is quite eager let's see what we have here so we have synchronicity and the otter and cattail which is peace very peaceful nurturing energy and synchronicity says a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity so it's almost like serendipity isn't it this is meant to be you know things people places situations are going to happen where you're just going to combine and you're going to be together a divine soul counterpart relationship now that is very blessed as it says amazing moments of synchronicity it's almost like isn't it when you meet someone and they say oh where was you born and you're like wow do you know what i was born 10 miles from there them type of things it's really going to be unique to the both of you but let's find out a lot more thank you universe please give the energy for pile three's person on what's next in love so we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Hanged Man. What do we have at the bottom? We actually have that Five of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Pentacles is an energy that none of us really want to be in for too long, but sometimes we find ourselves in that. You know, it's the energy of where we feel, I wouldn't go as far as to say stuck, it's where we feel an energy of lack, a little bit of discomfort. We're not sh quite sure where that next door is going to be, where we can really move forward to eliminate and release that and move forward now for some of you this could be for sure a colleague with those pentacles it might be someone you meet online or it could be friendship as well but what I would say is it is someone actually releasing and I say that because of that ten of wands so I'm not sure what this situation was but nonetheless it is someone finding a lot of peace in their life after this situation of being in the five of pentacles now the seven of pentacles we know this is about a nurturing energy again waiting of the fruits of the labor so it's all about patience now of course it could be someone who is already attracted to you waiting for the right moment because it's all about the synchronicity now of course that may well very well be because you are in the moon maybe you're still healing you know you're really finding that last little bit of acceptance and courage to embark on the new chapter and they will be very very aware of that so that might be for some of you someone who is attracted to you already but for others of you this could be a brand new person starting a new chapter but what I do feel is with that ten of wands that is the end of the cycle for all of you you see this is your person putting down that ten of wands which is the burdens it's the overwhelming it could be worry it could even be frustration because it's almost like do you know what I don't want to be in that five of pentacles I do I can't move forward I need to find peace I need to really find my new chapter and that is why they're walking towards the pathway here of the new chapter which is the house so God is is advising your person to release that heavy energy they are going to feel lighter and over time they will actually open up and I say that because of that four of pentacles now this could be two kind of situations here now for some of you it is someone who is attracted to and they're holding back very much friendship colleague related you know teamwork community for others of you it is someone I would say who might really I would say little be a little bit guarded initially because it's almost like they're holding on tightly to their stability their safeness that comfort blanket if you like so just take what resonates but that may vary for some of you but either way, the ultimate outcome is the hanged man. This is the tree of life, you see. They are hanging from that tree of life where we gain wisdom, we gain clarity. Now, your person will 
look at things from a completely different perspective because that is what the universe is doing with the crown chakra that's when that peace comes in so okay they might be a little bit guarded initially they might even have a comfort blanket around them in goods of i'm not too sure how much i should open up should i express too much that will change because this is them looking at all of this from a completely different angle and that's why it's about the synchronicities it is about this blessed amazing moments that are going to happen once you get to know them that really is going to bring this peaceful energy between the both of you let's see what we've got underneath that five of pentacles so we've actually got the eight of pentacles now and the page of wands yeah this is really someone who's quite romantic and i would say finding their new confidence I would say because the eight of pentacles is someone's prepared they're really ready you know they really want to put in that groundwork to create stability maybe for some of you it is someone's who foundation got a little bit rocked previously that could be why they are edging themselves out of that five of pentacles they really want to it's just they perhaps are just working on their foundation it could even be working on their on their finances here but the beautiful part is about the eight of pentacles that eighth pentacle is the next one to be worked on now that is the relationship that is the romantic intention it is the feelings and the desire now that is why they are going to open up because they're looking at it from a completely different perspective now, now that is because you are a completely different person you are a brand new connection it is a brand new attraction you see now they are going to release that and move forward embrace how they feel because the page of wands is about the desire it is someone who's really attracted to you a lot of romantic feelings so again it could be someone with fire in their chart it could most definitely be someone you're getting to know online as well but if you do feel this person is in your your life don't worry there is movement they are gaining their peace and wisdom at the right pace for them and then they will move forward because you are obviously in that king of cups and the moon so i do know some of you are attracted to this person already just as much as they are now they will start revealing they are going to let that guard down they're going to release that because they will soon recognize do you know what the, you know pile three is a different person i can find peace i'm looking for the synchronicities here that is when they will recognize this is what they really really do want and they're going to move forward with a lot, lot of confidence i would say it's just been probably a little bit frustrating for you at the level of time maybe because they know how they feel it's just that they're holding back look what we have at the bottom of the deck we've got the magician though now that's really powerful so it seems to me they are creating i would say um, a much more stable foundation in their life than what's happened before and i felt that with that ten of wands and that could be why for some of you pile three they are initially holding back with that four of pentacles it's because they're just gaining more confidence they're gaining a little bit of i would say practicality back in their life to create that stability so even though that's how they feel they just need to become a little bit more stable in themselves in regards to their finances perhaps that is only for those of you if you feel this person's in your life for others of you this is someone looking and feeling these synchronicities that are going to be happening because what i can really feel underneath that seven of pentacles look we have that four of wands well this is fated destiny you know this is the union this is the perfect match as such it's a happy family and a celebration it's all about the 11 11 now talk about synchronicities there we go so if you are seeing 11 11 or even repetitive numbers you know synchronicities you know that type of thing that is a sure sign from the universe for you it's real high vibration of a happy family but what i'm really loving for you pile three is underneath that ten of wands we actually have that page of wands now again that is double confirmation isn't it you know it's someone wanting to express how they feel they don't want to feel like this before anymore they're putting that down in embracing their new chapter so i love that it's almost like the confidence is growing it's expanding they're feeling more confident about opening up towards you and of course because you're in that king of cups they know how much love you have to give that's why the peace is really given in this energy 
but what I really love as well I mean look we've even got the seven of pentacles again it's double confirmation talk about synchronicities so again it is someone who's been patiently waiting for the right time to open up to you or it is someone who's been patiently waiting to meet you to get to know you to open up because this is a saying waiting for the fruits of the labor there's the seventh pentacle that is the relationship the stability it's almost like your person saying, no, I'm not going to be with just anybody. I don't want to be in any relationship. I want to be with someone that really is someone that I click with. There's that feeling, there's that click, there's that magnetic connection. That is why this is a counterpart blessed relationship. Now, I do feel your person is quite independent. I will say that. They're quite even, I would say, goal orientated with the grapes here in that nine of pentacles tentacles either way it's really positive because it's someone who wants to create a high vibration with you in going forward with the relationship it's really positive and the reason being because it's almost like they get a bit of a light bulb moment it's almost like they get that kind of synchronicity between the both of you and it says to them do you know what I now feel differently I can move forward I see this now I see it from a completely different angle you're not just the person I work with you're not just my friend you are not just someone that I've met I see you now from a completely different perspective because I'm on the tree of life and that is why the longevity and the potential here is that nine of pentacles so something's changing but the beautiful part is, Pile 3, because they're in the magician, they're using every element. It's a magic, you know, it's creating magic. And of course, the infinity loop, it is about that. The infinity loop is about a divine connection. It's about wisdom. So not only do I feel there's peace either coming between you or within them, there is tremendous balancing energy coming in with justice because justice is Libra so they could have that in their chart but it's about fairness balance determination clarity but above all else it's about I would say equality I love that word equality it's about balancing how you feel is how they feel there is not going to be one out of sync it is about equality but above all else this is fairness so I love this so maybe there was unjust previously for some of you but for others of you I do feel this is your person bringing fairness and equality back into their own life because as I say they do not want to be in that energy they want to move forward they want to see this from a different perspective but unbelievably, we now have that Ten of Pentacles, which is the highest level. It's a happy family. It could even be two families coming together. Maybe you've got children or they've got children. It's an extension of stability. Now, again, it is real solid. It seems to me a big emphasis on your person's energy is a solid foundation. Yes, there is flirting. Yes, there's intention. But the main emphasis for me that I'm feeling is a solid foundation in order for it to grow and expand. Now, that is because I do feel, Pile 3, what's happened before with your person, maybe their foundation was rocked, as I said. That is a key priority of your person. But you see, what's happening is within that magician energy, they're creating everything. They're dreaming, they're manifesting, bringing down their dreams, their goals right down into reality. Now, of course, that is foundation. That's finances, it's romance, it's dreams. But the main emphasis here the first initial is that foundation. They're wanting to get to know you a lot more right now. Amazing energy. I love the synchronicity of this. To think that their oracle card is synchronicity and it's all synchronized coming out in their tarot spread. Let's get your energy pile three. Let's see how you feel about this. And we'll get some advice for you. So you have the page of pentacles which has come out. Thank you, Universe. Please give the energy for Pile 3, please. What is your advice for Pile 3 and how will they feel about this? We have the Nine of Wands. So we also, there we are, we have the Eight of Cups, which is moving forward to your happiness. It's the decision that you are making. 
Now that page of pentacles pile three again it's earth energy so you could well work with them or it's a friend of yours but maybe again for some of you you are looking for the foundation initially because we know how much you've got to give we know how much you can receive but again it is about you revealing parts of you in stages and maybe the first part is you wanting to create a solid friendship a solid foundation a companionship in order for you to feel safe and even the courage to open up your heart but what I do feel is a lot of you this is someone you're talking to it's someone you're friends with you work with going out for coffee with I really do feel that and this is why this is going to bloom and expand from there now if that is the case I do feel that's caused some frustration here for you in this nine of wands nonetheless you're really determined you know it's standing your ground but I do feel that's caused you some frustration for others of you, if this is a brand new person coming in, this is really you moving forward now. It's accepting, gaining your courage within the amethyst. And I would say the universe is advising you to move forward in faith now. You can move forward in your healing because none, however this resonates for you, you are determined. They recognize your determination. But what they actually want you to do is to move forward with this eight of cups, which is about your soul searching energy. You are soul searching, you're thinking about what makes you happy, what type of person will make you happy because I know that because you're in the king of cups. It's you holding your heart, holding your emotions. Now I do say that you are going to do that, you're going to move forward. It is you moving forward because ultimately it's the decision that you've made. You decide to leave that behind and walk straight into your future which is your comfortable energy at the pace you feel happy with revealing parts of you in the moon. This is you opening up, revealing yourself because you're in that high vibration of the king of cups. So I do feel over time you are going to really become good friends, good companions. That's going to grow and expand into romance. I just want to close your reading, Pile 3, with a message from the angels for you. Oh, there we are. Now, what was that? Oh, you've got two. I love that. So we have playfulness and honeymoon. So it says here, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Now, of course, that could well be representing that nine of wands there. Maybe, as I say, you felt this energy of frustration, not moving forward. And obviously, with the healing of the amethyst, it is time for you to embrace your inner child. You're being advised here to embrace fun, make time for fun, you know, really carve it out in your week to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And this is about you having time for you. Now, that is why you're walking towards your future you're putting yourself first now your other energy is honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together now of course there's two ways of looking at this is this someone you're going to meet when you go on holiday on vacation is it someone you're going to meet when you're out on a day trip for example but for others of you, this is someone I feel you're going to have weekends away. You're going to have time together, which is precious time, even if it's going out for the afternoon. This is your bliss, your holiday time, your time alone. Now, it seems to me there is a lot of happiness, a lot of flirting, a real laughter of humor, a lighter energy coming towards you, Pile 3, which is going to bring about a lot of happiness here, which is like the honeymoon energy really romantic going out on dates day trips holidays vacations so over time this beautiful relationship is going to grow and expand and you won't even think twice about what's happened here because you would have already walked away and you've embarked on your new chapter I really hope that's resonated for you Path I hope that's helped you please do like share subscribe and comment as well hope to see you all next time bye bye everyone